keep saying it again and again in your mind oh, oh I, i'm not sure i'm going to try this according to me i'm going to write this down can you see this mm-hmm. yeah i'm going to show this right here for the first time jane mm-hmm. who was your childhood celebrity crush tell us amir khan like exactly got amir wow. khan like that for you wow who is like that hello and welcome to midday this is hina khandelwal and today we have with us a magician a mentalist and illusionist Naman Anand. Naman, what is mentalism? So that's a good question. Uh, firstly, thank you so much for having me here, Hina. And uh, like you asked, so mentalism is uh, not magic. It's like a branch of magic, but it's entirely different from magic because uh, magic depends on tricks. Uh, mentalism is more related to psychology. So, are you reading the mind, or are you just giving us the illusion that you're reading the mind? We are reading the mind, but I said we are giving the illusion of reading the mind because I don't claim that I have supernatural powers where I can just touch anybody or see anybody and I can just tell you what they're thinking. It's a process. Like you need to get into a conversation, you need to understand these non-verbal cues, and that's how you read the mind. So I did not. That's why I mentioned the word illusion because I can't just walk on the road and be like, okay, what that person is thinking, what that person is thinking. So it's like a process. How long does it take to build this art form, or is it an art form, or is, do you call it like some sort of supernatural power, sure. like a lot of people claim? Correct. So uh, I would I would say that this is purely an art form uh, because I am doing this since I was eight years old. It's been a long journey. There's no definitive period of uh, I can of when I can tell you that you will be able to do this, but it's like an ongoing process. You start with the basics because this is all in the books. So you start with the basics of psychology, body language, human nature. because it's everything about the mind right uh, every new day like today i'm meeting you for the first time when i go back home i'll have a new learning curve like a new learning experience from you so I, on an average it, i can mention just to put a term it can be around anywhere between 5 to 7 years to understand this process and then you start building up like i'm still not perfect of course we all have grown up seeing magic and we all have some sort of definition of magic in our head we see it with cards some tricks Correct. maybe cutting the body into half or seeing somebody fl- somebody yeah. floating in the and air eggs and rabbits yeah yeah how is mentalism different from the magic that we know of specifically in our country india when you say that you're a magician the first image you get in your mind is like a guy with a hat uh, with eggs and with like pigeons fluttering around from his jacket but i'm not that a mentalist is someone like i said who only plays with the mind so i don't have any props no stage illusions like you like you see i don't have anything with me we also use cards and coins sometimes to understand a little bit about the person but it's purely and purely dependent on the mind so we just use psychological princi- uh, principles to build up on uh, something and there are different phases like i just don't read minds a majority of my job also includes and involves influencing or manipulating minds and then getting the thoughts out of it is mentalism the popularity around it growing in india yeah definitely in fact uh, uh, since the recent uh, pandemic uh, era it's it's been uh, uh, on a roll because there are a lot of mentalists you know the country is starting to understand and appreciate this art form wherein abroad it's like a very established kind of an art form in india it's it's really picking up now so i'm glad that i'm in that space uh, where you know the industry is somewhat booming what is your star trick and we want you to play it out for our audience today I wouldn't term it as a star trick but it's definitely uh, you know the closest thing according to me uh, which is r- as real as magic okay so when i was a child when i was learning magic and i started doing things uh, i always used to think that what is real magic for me real magic for you can be your job it can be your parents it can be anything but i wanted that one thing in my profession in my art form that f- that you- that fooled me every time i did it so initially i did not have that i i kept searching i kept building something and it's-, it's an ongoing process and a couple of years earlier stumbled upon an idea and today uh, hopefully with the audience here in the studio we're going to try something and that according to me is as real as it can get to, for magic according to me let's try it out yeah definitely hi so jane and nidhi from our news room have volunteered for this trick let's see how this goes lovely so thank you so much jane and nidhi for being a part of this i have a very fun kind of a thing for you guys first which will let me understand how you guys think and i will understand if all of us are in sync with our minds okay So here it is. Uh, I have a die. It's not from a casino because I'm not allowed in casinos. But all of you are familiar with the die. Uh, lockdown, Ludo, Kerala. It's now we have all done that. So I'm going to start with you, Hina. I want you to hold the die. Uh, now, for example, it's on number two, correct? Now this goes number six. This is number four, whatever. So what what we are going to try to do is I want you to actually hide the die from me. Put your hand in front of it, and then I want like first choose a number and then hide it from me, and then I'm then try to remember the number in your mind. Let's see if I can try to predict what you're going to do. So I'm going to turn around, put it onto a number. Don't show it to anybody. You can show it to the camera if you want. Okay, perfect. So you saw the number. Keep saying the number in your mind again and again. 
Okay, so this is the first time we are meeting, but I'm I'm very sure your uh, just like majority people would do. This is the first time you took the die in your hand, so you must have gone for the number three. Yes. Yeah. That's the number three. So you know that's a little bit about psychology. I'm going to take the die. You can pass it to her. In fact, what we're going to do is you're going to do the same thing, but this time you're going to shuffle the die. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Should I turn around? Yeah. Perfect. So Nidhi, think of the number. You saw the number, right? Hmm. You don't say. Think about it in your mind. Okay. She went for a three consciously, but after shuffling, you were you were smiling because you also went close. But it's not a three, but a four this time. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's a four. You can you can show it right there. That's a four. Now let, let's do it one last time. Yeah. You are pretty scared because I've been like two people with each other. I want you to shuffle the die, but this time, even you will not see it. Okay. Because you thought I was doing the trick with them, but actually I was analyzing your body language. So I know exactly how your hands are going to move, and I'm going to try to predict that. So stop it. Stop it right now. You did not see the number, right? Look at me. Don't do anything right now. I know you're not doing anything, but the amount of times you sh shook your hand, I think we all are so similar. I think you landed on the one. Check it out. Check the top number. Wow. Show it to the camera. Show it to everybody in the studio. That's number one right there. That's a little bit of what I do and how I do it. Now let's take it a step further. I know you guys are very scared of me by now, but don't worry. Um, it uh, like I won't stay here for that long. We're gonna try this, okay? So let's do some mind reading. In fact, I'm gonna start it with you. I think because okay. you're the last one in the first time. Jane, can you uh, make it very difficult? So I want you to make it extremely personal. So I'm gonna ask you to think about a very intimate thing, maybe like your childhood crush or something. So get a random name in your mind. It can be anyone who you knew, who you wanted to know. Just back then, who was just like your crush in your mind? Okay, you have a name. Hmm. Perfect. Look at me. So it can be a celebrity crush, non-celebrity crush, and okay, you blink twice, so it's like a celebrity crush. Now let's try this. You and for everybody watching us at home, and all of you also, you haven't told about this crush to either of them. No. You haven't told anything to me. No. This is the first time we have met. Right. Okay. Say this name in your mind again and again. I'm going to try to do this, and you guys are going to be uh, the audience along with the people at home. Say the name. Are you thinking about the first name and the surname both? Both. Okay. Keep saying it again and again in your mind. Oh, oh I, I'm not sure. I'm going to try this according to me. I think I'm going to write this down. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to show this right here. The childhood crush. How old were you when you had this celebrity crush in your mind? 2, 3? 2, 3. Yeah. So that means around uh, 25 years ago or something. No, no, like no. That. Um 30. Okay. For the first time, Jane, mm -hmm. who was your childhood celebrity crush? Tell us. Amir Khan. Like exactly got Amir wow. Khan. Wow. Wow. Right there. Right there. So thank you, thank you. So this is this is how uh, a little bit of my dating work. But while I was performing with her, I also got some sort of an energy with you because we did movies and we know this entire uh, celebrity thing came in. Can you think of a random song, like a song in your mind? Yeah. So keep saying that song in your mind. You haven't showed it to any one of us. You haven't told us anything at all about that song, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I love how you're not making eye contact with me so that you don't think I'm going to read you. So I'm going to try this. Say the song. Have you? Do you know the song? Do you like? Have you heard the song yeah, recently as yeah. well? Okay, so I'm going to try this. Keep saying it in your mind again and again. Oh, 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 that that was like a P. It starts with a P. Yes. It starts with a P. Okay, say the full song in your mind one more time. This is weird. I'm I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. And according to me, I'm going to show it to everybody. You you will have to close your eyes for a second. According to me, this is what the song. She, don't open your eyes. Okay. This is the song in her mind right now for everybody in the audience as well. And this is genuinely a song you guys have also must have heard. I don't know why I could as if hear it from her mind. Now you can open your eyes. I've written down something. Hmm. Please don't make me lose my job. <laughs> For the first time, tell us what is the song that's been playing in your mind. पहली नजर में. And exactly what? पहली नजर में. Right there for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So before I go on, you asked me, uh, Hina. You know, I don't like I said. It's not a signature trick, but it's it's real magic for me. So I'm going to try this in a very cool way. Do you guys have a phones with you by any chance? Yeah. yeah. Can you just take your phone, please? I want you to uh, put it on loud. Okay, remove it even from silent. Even I'm going to do that. Remove it from silent. Remove it from silent. Okay. Even I'm going to do that. Done. Put it on the loudest mode possible. Lock the phone. Even you do that. And you don't have a phone. That's the best thing because, I, as if you already knew it. But uh, this is going to be crazy. Okay. Since how long do you three know each other, Abra? A year. A year. Okay. So I want both of you to point the phones to the camera. Just point, face the phones towards the camera, and make it loose. Now, you know. You don't even have your phone, but you're going to do a job for me, okay? Imagine that you are in a different city, and these guys are at the studio. You had some work, so you took out your phone. So can you take out your phone in your mind, just in your mind? Now, I want you to imagine typing her name in your contacts, and then typing her name in your contacts. However, you saved it. I'm sure all of you have each other's numbers, right? I want you to imagine that you're calling her also from the part of the mind. At the same time, 
you are trying to remember both now your job and your job is to actually imagine literally feel however you said her name that you're getting a call from Hina okay you see your phone ring show it to the camera you see your phone starts ringing can you can you show it to the camera both of you are getting a call from Hina at the same time from the power of your mind thank you thank you I, I, I see how stumped you guys are and the best part is both of you check your call logs you all have incoming calls and whenever later you have access to your phone please check that there is no outgoing call in your phone you know why because the outgoing call was from your mind thank you thank you thank wow. you so much wow that was brilliant <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you thank you thank you so, so much, much. yes yeah.